and we had a day full of fun. Yep. Nikki uh, did like riding in the bike trailer by herself. She had no issues. Yes. She and seemed like she had a lot better time. Like she wasn't having to fight for space. Yeah. I mean, she loved Mutley, don't get us wrong, but I think she did, uh, I think she did like uh, being in the bike trailer and being able just to just sit there and just really take it all in and enjoy without having to be tossed around a little bit. Yeah. But uh, yeah, so we had fun doing that. We did take her swimming over by the kayak launch and uh, the kayak rental area. Mm -hmm. She enjoyed that. And after that, we, uh, we just kind of drove down the island a little bit here and I'll show you some footage, you know, um, just it's looking funny. at the cool houses. Well, it's funny because we didn't really plan on going that far away no. and doing anything too in depth. We just kind of wanted to check out the island mm -hmm. and we ended up seeing the whole island and then going off the mainland going to the mainland off the island to the mainland yeah and um discovered apalachicola yeah and, and it's the cutest town ever yeah it kind of reminds me of mount dora cedar where key. we actually have seen before and a little bit of key west vibe to it too definitely cedar key like a bigger cedar key too yeah it has I, not of, quite as old but yeah pretty old yeah and it has an art artistic flair to it cute little shops mm -hmm. and cute little restaurants and there's a lot of history there too mm -hmm. we ate at uh oh we were just there and i can't think of the name of it uh <laughs> you remember the name i don't remember now i know it said it was established in like 1903 yeah something like that early 1900s so it's like one of the oldest it's definitely restaurants. A historical spot yeah we had the fish and fries and oh oh the fish good. it was what kind of fish was it we had she said flounder, uh, flounder. yeah mm -hmm. She said the grouper was really good too. She said she liked the flounder just as well, and I I, I liked it, and it was quite a quite a nice sized portion of fish. Mm-hmm. Very light. Yeah, and we also discovered that Apalachicola Bay is like the oyster capital of Florida, pretty much. And like, what is it like 80, 90 percent of the oysters mm -hmm. come from this area? Yeah. So guess what we're gonna do either tomorrow or Sunday? <laughs> this girl's gonna have her some fresh oysters yeah i will if, if i can raw. find it no i will if i can find them cooked or steamed and with, i like them raw with lots of toppings and stuff <laughs> <laughs> uh, but at any rate yeah so we we enjoyed that it was cool and it was uh it was very interesting there's a lot of history down there in apalachicola mm -hmm. and we actually ended up in um, um it was a war memorial park and yeah. it was really cool they had a statue that we'll show you here that uh it was uh really really touching in, in reading you know about it and, and it was a, a memorial to the vietnam the veterans soldiers. Mm -hmm, that served yeah. from this area and uh then we checked out the botanical gardens which and was right there and it started off really cute Had the a sign was nice there were a lot of butterflies mm -hmm. the, and then we get a little bit deeper into it and there was nothing but grass weeds and grass half mown grass even yeah, yeah. <laughs> so we seen a little bridge coming up and i was like you know what i said let's, let's just go to the bridge and see if there's anything past that bridge because i thought maybe something was on the other side of yeah, that little bridge we were hoping for some pretty flowers mm -hmm. to look at so i told Allie, i said let me go ahead and make sure there's no snakes on this bridge and i no more got on the bridge and she's behind me going oh my god there's a snake and i'm yeah. like what i uh, mean it was a small one it yeah. was a little brown snake i was looking on the on the walkway i wasn't looking on the railing she's I don't know how she spied it without glasses yeah. on. Well, and I saw it. To me, it honestly <clears> looked like a seed pod of some sort, like a, like some kind of a um, plant, mm -hmm. vegetation type thing. And but when I got closer and I saw, I'm like, no, that's a snake. Yeah. Nikki had literally just walked right past it. Mm -hmm. Luckily, oh, yeah. the snake just sat there and looked at Nikki like whatever. Yeah, she didn't care. And yeah, <laughs> yeah. But, and we took a picture of it and sent it to a friend of hers who's a snake expert, really. And she's like, yeah, it's a harmless She said, snake. if snakes have round eyes, then it's safe. Yeah. So mm -hmm. I'm not getting that close to see their eyes. If I see a snake, bye-bye. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. uh, see yeah. ya. I'm going the other way. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, it was a fun day. Uh, we're probably just going to walk walk around the beach, you know? Yeah. And I think, yeah, that, that's what Nikki's I was saying. Pretty, I love walking on the beach at night. Yeah, Nikki's pretty well tired now, so she'll probably be all right here for a little while by herself. Yeah. And we'll go out and walk on the beach. Have and, a little romantic stroll mm. in the moonlight. <clears throat> we'll have to get Nikki something. We'll have to get her a little souvenir, right, Nick? Yeah. She's asleep in her bed. She's so tired right now. She wonders why we talk to this strange apparatus in front of us. <laughs> She's like, who are y'all talking to? <laughs> yeah, so we're, we're having a good time. It's... uh yeah very it's peaceful very peaceful here in this campground and we do so far really like this campground the sites are somewhat private some are more private than others uh, but they are stacked in here pretty 
pretty tight compared to yeah. some of the state parks we've been. Today we are going to head over to Apalachicola and do a little shopping and have lunch. Yep. We're so also we'll going to check out the lighthouse too. And, and they allow um, dogs on the beach on St. George Island, just not in the state parks. Right. So we're going to take Nikki mm -hmm. down to the beach. That's the plan. And check out the lighthouse museum and head to Apalachicola and and make a make a day of it. Try to get as much done today as we can because it's our last full day here. And Maybe see if we can get some oysters. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Uh, I'm. I'm already craving oysters. Oh, there's a lot of birds here. Yeah, hey, this definitely is, a great place for bird hunting. Yeah, well, uh, not hunting, but bird watching. Yeah, <laughs> not take, bird hunting, watching. Take, take that back. Bird watching. watching. <laughs> Botanicals. They've got a lot of different things there, like sponges and just soaps galore, like all different types of soaps. Oktoberfest, Mill Mill Blonde, first light of day. Can't remember the last one. Oh boy! Cheers! Happy anniversary! I love you. Mm, love you too. You're drinking my Oktoberfest. Damn it! <laughs> we just stopped for ice cream. Mm-hmm. Perfect little ending. To, mm. a, to a day trip. Apalachicola. Apalachicola. Tough word for me. <laughs> so. The name of this place is oh, Aunt Abby's Ice Cream. Oh, it's been here since 1993. Wow. So we're going to enjoy our ice cream as it uh, takes us uh, back to the campground. Mm hmm. Nikki for swimming yesterday. Well, first we we went on a trail over here by the playground, and I thought that that was the trail that led to the Bay Inlet side, and we walked probably a good mile and realized nope. Yeah, Allie was right. She was like, I think we should have went that way, and I didn't, and we. Uh, yeah, the trail is off the. Um, there's like a little interpretive center. Interpretive, they call it. Yeah, there's like where you can drop off books and magazines, DVDs, and um, exchange them. Yeah, exchange them, Share. and there's the trail goes beyond that and takes mm -hmm. you to the Bayside. Mm -hmm. And once we got mm -hmm. over there, it was uh, nice, uh, nice water for Nikki to swim in. Nice calm water, and and she was in uh, enjoying looking for the minnows like she always does. Saw a couple dolphins surface, and I was like, Allie. And she was like, What? And I'm like, Look. And she's like, Oh my God. I was like, Grab Nikki. Because Nikki, Nikki sees dolphins. She's she, going to go after them. Yeah. <laughs> she'll just swim after them. And then she'll realize, Oh my gosh, I'm way, way, way far away. <laughs> yeah. It happened one other time. Oh yeah. Yesterday evening, we went for our anniversary dinner. Yeah. We went to Patty's Raw Bar. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oyster Bar. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And watched Alabama football. They had live music. And I had raw oysters, and you had. I had uh, steamed oysters, but they were topped with like jalapeno, Parmesan cheese, and garlic, I think. They were really good. They have like tons of different... Um, Hot uh, sauces. Well, no, I was going to say like t tons of different toppings for your oysters. Oh, yeah. Um, they have like a mixture of different ones, but then you can also do like your own mixture if you want to. Mm -hmm. I like them just raw and plain. 
Hey, if you're new to our channel, by the way, this is a good time to go ahead and hit the subscribe button and ring the bell. That way you're notified. And if you like this video, give us a thumbs up. Yeah, it, really, us out. Yeah, it really helps out the channel. And join our adventures and follow us along. Bye. Bye.